My story of change. My story of change. My story of change. My story of change. Most of the existing approaches to measuring the value of extractives let's just look at the monetary value. But in fact, it uh, doesn't really look at the opportunity cost. But in countries like Bolivia, lithium extraction is so water intensive that it takes water away from quinoa production. In other places, it's the destruction of environmental assets, which in the long run serve uh, local livelihoods much more importantly. These are non-renewable resources and therefore lead to non-renewable income. Policymakers should look at their extractive sector in a holistic way. The revenue issues around the extractive sector are crucial because they often provide a massive source of revenue for governments. In many cases, African countries will be far better rather than saving uh, the funds from their um, oil, gas and mining revenues, instead spending them on education and health, particularly for poor children, particularly in rural areas. And in fact, what we see is the rates of return on investing in education and health now actually far exceed the rates of return you're going to get in any kind of um, financial market. My story of change has been to witness for the past few years how governments are really willing to go beyond the general short-termist discourse that focuses on fiscal stabilization using resource revenues towards a more holistic perspective of development that really looks at long-term economic diversification with more proactive state interventions. The research that we've done at UNU Wider has generated quite a bit of interest over the past few years. Several governments have shown interest in discussing it, which really shows that there's a lot of interest in going beyond the dominant paradigm on resource revenue management.